Anyways, uh, yeah. So, uh, I just want a few things I want to talk to you guys before we start the fucking show. Is that there are now three fucking channels that I have. We have this one, the underground broadcast. We have the emergency broadcast channel, which is what you're watching. And the illegal broadcast channel. Why is there three? Well, because the main one got banned from live streaming because we were fucking up. So now we have the emergency one. And during the emergency broadcast is where we're going to be streaming the live and shit. And uh, it's for, 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 for the moment. Uh, but then I made the illegal underground broadcast channel. Uh, you can look it up and subscribe if you want. Uh, but on that one specifically, we are going to be doing, well, as the channel says, the illegal things. And uh, we are going to have a WrestleMania Night 1 party uh, next week, I think. Is it next week? I think it is WrestleMania. Uh, so that way, if we get a strike, it'll be in another channel. We don't have to worry about getting banned. Uh, but I don't think we will because I'm not going to make it big like I did last time. I'm going to keep it small and uh, fuck everyone who, who's, who, who argues and says, make it bigger. We want to see. No, no, I can't. We're not getting fucking banned. The, the small little picture you're seeing, you're seeing it. And that's all it's going to be. But we are going to watch it. Uh, all of it. And uh, night one and night two. I'll tell you like that. And pretty much, uh, if we get away with it, we'll do all the pay-per-views like that. No sound. Just me talking or responding to your comments. Drinking and smoking and chilling. Uh, but that's uh, that's what we're going to what we're gonna be doing uh, from here on. So, cheers to y'all. Don't miss out on that. I think it's next week. Uh, I'll post a video with a link and all that shit. Uh, I'll post the links also on the social medias. Uh, but remember, it is on the other channels and shit. Uh, tonight's show is going to be cool. I am going to spoil the entire uh, Kong and, and Godzilla. I'm going to show all the kaiju fights. Uh, we're going to talk about the X-Men episode and shit. Uh, some DC and Marvel news, comic book nerd ass, and of course we gotta talk about celebrity perverts, because you know how that goes. Uh, so get ready for tonight, because we got a, a, a decent show for you tonight. Um, but let's get started with the motherfucking comments, you know how we do. Anything you send to my social medias, uh, uh, Twitter is at sonaman 665 because apparently the underground broadcast is too damn long for a Twitter handle. Twitter handle. And it is Twitter, because until he changes it to www.x.com, I'm calling it Twitter, bitches. Um, and then for Instagram is at the underground broadcast, uh, underscore after the underground and whatever. You see it here. And TikTok is the underground broadcast. Anything you send me on IG or Twitter, I will post here. And I'll show it to you all. I actually had uh, Gomer Kyle this uh, earlier this week, y'all. He was in, uh, in Atlanta. Uh, visiting a friend, uh, we gotta give him the shout out to his friend, uh, uh, who's, uh, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I know he's, he's having a heart surgery, so prayers out to our friend, uh, Gomer Cow and his best friend out there, but he was visiting Atlanta, and he took some pictures and shit, and, uh, and then he took some pictures of, like, this, this logo that was, uh, uh, fucking outside, uh, of his friend's hospital, and it says, Legal representation, the fly lawyer. Oh, look at that pimp daddy, the fly lawyer.com. I gotta tell you, man, I'm glad I never needed a lawyer in my life. But if I ever did, that's the motherfucker I'm calling for sure. And, and I'm gonna be like, hey, bring those two hotties along. Oh, yeah. Mm. And, uh, and then over here, Gomer, he says he took a pictures with the Olympic shit that they had there in 96. Uh, where Kurt Angle broke his neck wrestling and won the gold medal. Hey, Gomer, who's that Mexican photobombing you there on the side? Like this and shit. Fuck that guy. I would have been like, hey, get the fuck out of here, you son of a bitch. I'm trying to take a picture. You dick. That's what I would have been like. But anyways, uh, yeah, Gomer, thank you for sending that. And we're, we're, we're praying for your friend, bro. He's It's uh, Gomer's best friend. Uh, heart surgeries are pretty... Uh, they're, they're good nowadays. They're way better than they were 10, 15 years ago, man. So I, 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 well, my prayers, and I, I know your friend's going to be all right, bud. I just know it. Believe me. I did have a Super Saiyan Joku send me this on IG. He says, my sweet tooth gets the best of me. 
I'm just getting started. It's gonna be a long night. Ain't that not? Ain't that right, son of man? Meow. At the underground broadcast. Cheers, my flowers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. THC. 600 milligrams. Hashtag nerds rope. Hashtag 100 milligrams. Hashtag watermelon rings. 400 milligrams. Hashtag cotton, can cotton candy gummies. Hashtag marijuana. And hashtag smoke weed every day. I'm not, I'm not going to sample that. We'll get in trouble for sure. But uh, yeah, you got some gummies there. You know what? What really uh, the watermelon rings? I mean, those look like real candies and shit. Uh, but what really excites me is these nerd pop. What is it? Ropes? What is it? Is it like, like a string? Joku? Is it a string? You should have taken a picture of what it looks like. Um, it, they're nerds. So is it like gummies? Like, cause they sell at the store, and I love these. They sell these gummies that are like they they I don't know like they these little balls of gummy, just chewy gummy, and then they put all these nerds in them, and so you grab one and you you it's fucking badass. Is that what this is like? Cause that shit's legit. Uh, keep out of reach of children and animals. Oh, 600 milligrams per rope? Shit. No, he says that the lucky Americans, not all of us, uh, wherever the fuck this guy lives, uh, because over here where I'm from, there's not legal and shit. I gotta go buy dirt weed from these motherfuckers down the street and shit. It pisses me off. I swear to God, this this shit is like I'm, I'm smoking pesticides and shit. That's why I gotta go buy these these uh, vanilla cream fucking blunts so I can actually have something good to smoke because if not, it's, it feels like I'm fucking smoking uh, uh, pesticides and shit. Some cat piss. A cat piss on the weed and, and shit. But luckily, the blunt helps cover it up. Fuck you, Goku. Joku. For being in a state where you get all these badass shit that we don't. Oh, Gomer Kyle is here. Let me hit it for Gomer. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pyle. Private Pyle, I'm going to give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One, two, three. Shazam. Cheers, Gomer. And uh, I did show, uh, I showed your, 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 your pictures that you sent me on Twitter. And, uh, and we all wished your friend uh, a good recovery. Hope he's doing all right, bud. On the real, uh, yeah. We gave him, we gave him a shout out here in the channel. You know how we do, woke Pat for life, motherfuckers. Cheers. Um, but let me start with the comments because it is a long. There are a lot of comments today. Uh, uh, actually, right away the one was like a Monday. Got a lot of comments, and I've been getting a lot of comments all of a sudden. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I think we're going viral again. Anyways, let's see what's going on here. Uh, the first comment is this guy named Tropic Vibe. It might be a girl. I don't know. They got some keyboards on the avatars. So that's pretty cool. It says, yeah, it's talking on the colored races. It's a thing now. That little girl who doesn't like white people. Uh, she says, yeah, real safe. Keep believing that. As safe as the girl that got stabbed in the neck in a bodega a couple of days ago because she didn't give some dude her number. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you what, it wasn't a white person that stabbed that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably my cousin or something. I'm just saying, I'm just saying the truth. Bitch, give me your number. Ah, yeah, yeah, that shit happens, bro. That's like, I try not to talk to no one when I go to the corner store. There's a lot of fucking weird motherfuckers and shit. You know, you don't make eye contact. You don't talk to no one. I don't know fucking crackheads out there. They fucking, I don't even know what the fuck they do all day walking around and shit. Motherfuckers. Do you even eat? Some of them look, look like they're fucking eating better than I am and shit. And I'm the one who has a job. What the fuck? I'm gonna say maybe I should start doing heavy drugs. Well, I'll look better and shit, live a better life. I don't know. I'm just you know, throwing it out there. What do you guys think? Anyways, cheers, Tropic Vibe. Thank you for commenting. Cheers. I think we got a few subscribers. I don't know. I don't pay attention to it anymore as much as I used to. Um. 
Gomer, he says that his friend's coming home finally next week after 45 days. That's good, bro. I was saying that the uh, heart surgeries nowadays are, are a lot better than they were fucking 10, 15 years ago. I mean, they can do a heart stint and you'll be out that afternoon, like within an hour or two. They'll let you go. It's crazy. You know, technology. That's amazing. It's amazing. Medical technology and shit. Uh, again, a new guy on the colored races is a thing now, and it's probably a guy who just made an account because they're going to have an avatar, and it just says user, a bunch of fucking random letters and numbers. But it says, any race is capable of having races, uh, I don't know what WS means, mindset. Does anybody know what WS means? Races, white supremacies, mindset? Maybe that's what that is. Even black Americans. Especially when you were raised in America, ka, 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 k, 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 where it's ingrained in our society. Don't even surprise me anymore. Um, I don't know. I will say one thing about this uh, specific comment is that I feel that, you know, because I think every race is a little racist. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you right now, my, my parents are really racist, like, I accepted a lot of people uh, growing up, and they didn't. Uh, they would judge a lot of people uh, by how they looked or or even the color of their skin. And I'd be like, why are you saying that? Do you even know that person? Do you know? Like, maybe something, you know, my, my, my mom, we'd see somebody walking down the street, and my mom's like, look at that drug addict. I'd be like, why are you saying that? Maybe his car broke down, and he's walking. You know, it's 120 degrees outside. I'd be sweating if I was walking down the block, mom. What the fuck is your problem? You know, shit like that. So I think I think all of us are raised, you know, uh, races are all a little racist. But, you know, most of us try to accept one another. I know I do. And shit. You know, people judge me and don't want to even be next to me sometimes. Sons of bitches. Uh, but I will say one thing. I feel like black people in general turned more racist when the BLL, BLM movement was created. And not only that, but white people certainly turned more racist too. And not towards like fucking uh, towards blacks or browns. They turned really racist towards their own kind and shit. Um, I just realized I got the TV on in the background. There's like lightning going on and shit. I just turned it off. Um, Yeah, it's like white people got really racist towards browns really racist uh look like, because i had some white friends who stopped talking to me who stopped talking to me and called me a trump supporter because i didn't vote i didn't vote for biden nor for trump but they call me a trump supporter and a racist because i didn't want to go march downtown with the blms and i was like well i mean first of all i'm not black i'm mexican and second of all uh there's like looting going on and shit and 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 what if something happens and I get shot or I arrested? I'm like I don't want to go. No, I'm I'm fine, bro. I'm gonna stick here. And uh, the piece of shit white boy, because he's a white motherfucker, didn't even know a, a a fucking word of Spanish or nothing. Uh, motherfucker goes out in the sun and gets sunburned. But the motherfucking piece of shit has the nerve to call me a Trump supporter and to call me a racist. And then he stopped talking to me. Go figure. Even though like even a week before. And none of that shit had gone down. We're playing online and he's saying the most racist fucking Asian jokes and the racist fucking these these jokes and shit like that. But all of a sudden, I'm the fucking racist because I don't want to go march. That's a potential fucking incident downtown. Uh, but whatever. Yeah. People got brainwashed and people turned really racist towards fucking browns. Basically. You know. I, I've experienced more racism for uh since since the pandemic started then i have my whole life and i've always my whole life i've always experienced racism there's a bunch of friends that can tell you like people judge you by how you look there are no shit people judge me by how i look my whole life they've judged me by how i look they don't take a second to to to, to know me to know that i'm probably 10 times smarter than they'll ever be in their lives and shit i got more creativity on the tip of my fucking pinky than you do in your whole fucking body piece of shit but no you don't take a time to learn or know anything find someone new no 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 just look at him and say oh fuck that guy he's weird looking fuck you
Anyways, cheers, where the fuck you are? You don't even have a real name, you dumbass. Cheers. Uh, he has cerebral palsy too. Oh, man. That sucks, bro. Um, That's like what, uh, what's his name? JR has, right? I think that's what JR has. Getting old sucks, bro. Uh, you start getting stuff. Uh, all I can say is that you have really no idea how strong your thoughts are. Uh, people call it prayer, whatever. I call it your 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 internal dialogue. When you're not actually talking, and you're talking in your head, I think that voice that's talking in your head. That has more impact in life than your actual real voice, uh, and I and I and I think that if you just fucking learn how to use that and stay positive and and not think so neg not let it talk to you in your head negatively, things tend to 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 get better. You know, there's a big difference between waking up in the morning and saying today is going to be a good day. There's a big difference between saying that and saying, today is a great day. Because when you say today is going to be a great day, rather than today is a great day, you're already doubting. It might be. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm keeping uh, positive thoughts for your friend, bro. And I think that if we all think positive, and you tell your friend to, you know, it's important. It's important for that person too. That it's not just you praying for them and thinking positive for them, but they themselves have to. Have, that's what they say. You got to help yourself. You also have to keep those negative thoughts away from yourself, in order to you know bring good vibes and energy towards you. We're all waves and vibrations. When you get down to the molecular level, and if you're vibrating in a negative vibration, then what do you think you're gonna fucking attract or create in your world? So, you know. It's, it's hard to explain it to somebody sometimes. Uh, it really is, because not everybody understands. Uh, but as long as you explain them that you just have to, whenever you hear that little voice that's saying like, oh, fuck, this is going to happen. Oh, shit. Oh, no. change it. Change that little voice. And make it say something b better. Uh, it helps. And uh, and you'll see. You'll see. You will see the change in your life. Uh, I'm starting to see it a lot. Uh, like today, I had a fucking like I said, I made a lot of money, um, and I could have kept working, uh, but I decided to call it quits, and and, and you know I said, all right, I don't want to get greedy either, so yeah, yeah. But anyways, uh, we got another uh comment here on the same video. This little racist girl is really popular all of a sudden. I posted this video almost two weeks ago, and we're barely getting comments on it. God damn it! But all stay, all stay. 626 or all state or whatever is i think i experienced every possible emotion watching this video i still don't know exactly what i watched i like some sort of it's like some sort of fever dream but i liked it i think well don't worry a lot of people are a little taken back when they see me and they're really taken back when they hear me it's shit um but you know what uh, I'm like a tequila shot. It's hard to swallow. Once you get it down, it's nice and warm in your belly. Oh, yeah! Cheers! There we go. Let me in there. That's all I'm going to say. Cheers. All state. Oh, the cunt. On X-Men 97 actually sucks. That was so ass. It's only fair you gotta fart down Fledge's throat, goddamn. Hat wearing Hollywood bum sniffers. That's what he deserves for making Gabin look like a bot booty grabbing hairdresser from Seattle. They did him wrong. They did him wrong. I mean, I'm not gonna try to go back and talk more about it because we already did on the last episode. This, 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 we're gonna focus on the new episode tonight. Uh, but yeah, they did, they just. Nobody dressed like that in the 90s. Nobody. Especially not me. 
All right, I would have. If that would have been fly in the nineties, I would have dressed like that. But I didn't. Nobody dressed like that in the nineties. It's fucking dumb. Uh, so they fucked up there and his hair. Nobody had that hair hairstyle either. Some bullshit. He already had a hairstyle when when he didn't wear the thing. He wore a ponytail. So I don't know why you didn't keep it G and kept it real and shit. But anyway, so move on. Indie Phantom, oh yeah, Indie Phantom hasn't been online and uh, on the live for a while, but motherfucker still comments. So appreciate this motherfucker, OG motherfucker. But let me hit it for this Canuck. I was pledging allegiance. Uh, do people pledge allegiance in other countries the way we do? You put your hand on your heart and shit. The cut. In your country, do they do ass like that? This blunt's coming apart. I gotta lick it. You gotta lick it before you kick it. You gotta lick it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Indie Phantom on the Star Wars doesn't represent me video. He says... Oh yeah, I care even less about Star Wars no than uh, Star Wars now than George Lucas does. Disney is where franchises go to die horribly. Cheers, Sonny Boy. Oh yeah, nobody's called me Sonny Boy in a long time and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew this bitch and uh, a long time ago. Uh, she had the hots for me and she would call me Sunshine. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was fucking badass when she go, hey, sunshine. I'm like, oh, what up, bitch? Ha <laughs> yeah, 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 I like that. Sunny boy, I like that. I haven't, I haven't, somebody used to call me Sunny all the time. What up, Sunny? But I think because he thought I meant my name was Sunny, like S-O-N-N-Y. I was like, dumbass. I was like, but I just let him continue calling me Sunny. I was like, ah, I'm not gonna fucking whatever. You idiot. <laughs> the sun in the sky <laughs> yeah yeah uh, we got a shitty anthem that's about it I'm not real patriotic like some of those cunts probably do though yeah I guess everyone puts a hand on their on their I just I don't understand like pledging allegiance I mean that's fucking that's almost like you're saying this is God to me that's fucking fucking weird man I've always thought about it. There was one little girl in class when we were growing up. And one time I used to get mad. Because I, I didn't want to stand up sometimes. And they would stand up and shit. Not fucking shit. And this little girl never fucking... I remember her name. I'm not going to say it. I'll say her first name. I remember her last name. Uh, her first name was Erica. But she would sit down. And she would never stand. Nothing. She'd never get in trouble. And one time I went and told the teacher. Hey! If she doesn't fucking get to say it, then neither can I. And she goes, you fucking, you, you better stand up and say it. Because, or else you get in trouble. And how come she gets away with it? Because it's part of her religion. Like, what the fuck? I went and asked her what she was. Uh, she was a Jehovah's Witness. And so you know they don't believe in nothing but God. Uh, so yeah. Uh, she, didn't, she didn't celebrate birthdays or had parties or Christmas or presents or nothing fun in life. No dancing, no cheering, no holding hands. Nothing. Uh, yeah. I don't know what happened to that little girl. I never saw her after elementary school. Maybe she ascended. She became an ascended master. I don't know. Who knows? Cheers to Erica and cheers to Indie Phantom. All right, right. Let's see who's next. Oh, Gomer, Kyle, this son of a bitch. Uh, where is it? Fucking shit. Here you go. Cheers on the on the reading the comments video. He says, "Cheers." Uh, hang on. Let me just fix this a little bit. It's all in the live here for you guys, motherfucker. So this isn't always perfect. Gomer says, cheers, my friend. Sorry I had to run last week. Still down here in Chattanooga, and Melissa came down. Aw, oh, yeah. Got the wife down there, Gomer. Nice. Hopefully, I'll be home and back in my central time zone by this Friday, because I'm in the Serenity Now stage. 
Yeah, I bet you fucking going to a different... You know, but I'll say one thing, man. I didn't experience jet lag or any difference when I when I I went to Egypt a few years ago. I mean, I've you know I've been to different time zones, but that was the mo the biggest change in time zones because it's like night and day, you know, like completely ten hours away. And I didn't experience any kind of jet lag, or I might have just been really excited too. So I wasn't tired, and even when I came back, I mean, I didn't need to readjust to anything to be honest with you it was the weirdest thing um but i know the time change this year has been ass to me i hate it i'm still not used to it it's been already like almost a month since the time has changed and i'm still not used to it so yeah uh gomer continues he says we did do some sightseeing in atlanta we showed those pictures by the way gomer earlier Cause that's where my friend was in the hospital. Uh, he says, "Send you pics and to share." Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. Live. Bitches. Cheers, Gomer. We showed our pictures earlier. For you, motherfuckers. Maybe she had one on the Cosby Pudding Pops. Oh! Cosby Pudding Pops. <laughs> Cause you like to cut the, the pudding. Nah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not the guy with the, with the impersonations. That was another asshole. Anyways, fuck that guy. <laughs> Anthony Timmons. Oh, this fucking piglet motherfucker. I like, I like this guy. On the Star Wars Doesn't Represent Me video, he says, Star Wars only cares about Kathleen Kennedy's fragile ego and all of her fat, ugly, purple-haired feminist minions. Star Wars is dead. It did. It died already. Um, you know, right now, they are making money from these new, from the new generation, basically. Uh, but... They're not making the money they made during the first Force Awakens because that was the real fan base that was like, we need Star Wars. And you gave them Force Awakens and you gave them hope. And then and then everything went down the shitter soon after that because you, 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 you fucked up. George Lucas left you three scripts and you said, nah, we're going to do our own thing. You idiots. Ah, anyways. It's Disney. They own so many properties and so many companies that even if they lose money, they still make money. They're not going anywhere. It's like WWE. You know? WCW beat them for years and they they lost a lot of money, but they still kept going. And AEW could probably go for a long time because Tony Khan has a hundred million dollars. That's a lot of money. Um, and his dad's a billionaire. And they have more money than, than the McMahon. So they can go on for 10, 15, 20 years maybe. But so can WE. So WE is never ending. And Disney's never ending. At this point, uh, with as much assets and collateral that they have, they're just, you know. It's just a machine swallowing up shit to trash. It's basically what they are nowadays. They're swallowing up our fucking hopes and dreams and our childhoods only to shit all over them. That's what they are. And that's what they're there for. Uh... Cheers, Timmons. The shit. The cunt. On the, on the podcast video, he says, That gold Ghostbuster plot, how you explained it, sounds more like Doctor Strange plot to me. LOL. Yeah, I mean, I, I still, from the beginning, I used to tell what the, he who should not be named, if you remember. On the other channel, on this channel, but you know, before the revamp, I used to tell this whole Frozen Empire, Winter is Coming shit is not like attractive to me for a Ghostbusters movie. Like, why Winter? It made no sense, but whatever. It was really, um, how I wouldn't want to say because it was a pretty long movie to me. Um, it was. It was really contained as far as location wise, because I want to say about 70 to 80% of the movie is in the firehouse. 
now that I think about it. Um, so yeah, it's just a movie, I guess. Just it's a cash grab. It's a cash. It's a Ghostbusters cash grab. All right, that's what it is. It's a big deal. You know, they exist. Let's make some money, like Beetlejuice. The cash grab. All right, this is all I try to do. Make some money. Tears to cut, motherfucking uh, bra. Ah. Eighty-three weeks is how long Bischoff beat Vince. Yeah, yeah, he never shuts the fuck up about it neither, huh? That son of a bitch. You know, Eric Bischoff's an idiot because he could have literally been a part of AEW, like had a job there, executive producer or some ass. And instead, he went on his podcast and started trashing Tony Khan. You know what's sad about it is that little boy, that little boy. I think I think well, he's younger than me. I think he is. I think he is. But that little boy is fucking um he's he's very easy to pick on because he's probably autistic or something or very antisocial or I don't know if you've seen him. He's kind of weird, man. He's kind of weird like you like, you know, he's one of these geeks, one of these freaks. And maybe he didn't know exactly how to talk to people and shit and and some of the wrestlers have said like He's kind of like the rain man of wrestling because you're talking to him and all of a sudden he'll be saying, hey, like you had this match like on June something and you were fighting this guy and it was badass. Do you remember that? And the wrestler will be like, no. <laughs> so, Tony Khan's probably like he's one of these kids, you know, like so it's very easy to pick on someone like that and for fucking uh, uh, someone as professional as Eric Bischoff to go on his fucking podcast and start talking shit about a little boy. I thought that was ass. A lot of people do it too. And it's like, uh, I understand wrestling fans doing it because we don't give a fuck. But motherfucking professionals like that talking shit about Tony Khan is like ass because it's like he's just a little boy compared to most of you motherfuckers. He's a little boy with money, but he's still a little boy. And he's a weird little boy. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. He's like, a, you know, he's one of these autistic little nerds or whatever. Uh, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Elon Musk is one of the richest men on earth. I think he's the richest man alive, and he's autistic as fuck. He looks like fucking. He was put together in a lab in a test test tube or something. His head is weird. It's probably an alien. Anyways, chairs the cunt. His fantasy booking does suck. Uh, he does need to. He because man, they got they got great wrestlers and great talent. They just need better, uh, uh, and they just hired a bunch of people, man. So I think pe things will change, but they just need better riders, man. I, I want to say this past Wednesday, to me, was probably the best one I've seen simply because there was no 20-minute talking segments. There wasn't any segments that resembled WE. It just flowed, this Wednesday flowed perfectly, you know, uh, there could have been more. I, I'm always, there should be more girl matches. Always. I want to see tits and ass. At least two matches a show of women. There should always be at least two matches of women in every show. But one is all they get. We're lucky if it's 15 minutes, but whatever. He is a mark. He is. A, a, MJF was right when he called him a fucking mark on live television. He is a fucking mark. Uh, he's a he's a kid. He's a kid. He's a fan. He's a wrestling fan. He's one of us, basically, but with money. You know what I'm saying? Is it in the man had a fucking a uh, a uh, 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 a fucking wrestling promotion? Because I all of a sudden I win the billion dollars on the jackpot. Or call it the underground wrestling broadcast. Because <laughs> they gotta say broadcast on it. <laughs> underground wrestling federation or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll be, we'll come out as the woke pack and we'll be the authority. All of us. <laughs> Fucking screwing over all the wrestlers and shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's supposed to be out for a while. He's injured, that guy, man. He was fighting injured. I give it up to any of these wrestlers who would be fi fighting injured, man, because that's, that's tough. I think the one injury out of me, and that's it, I would have quit. I retired. I'm out. But, but you just sprayed your ankle. I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Keep going with the comments. There's a lot of comments I keep forgetting. Uh, Travis Day, 1977. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Bears! It's a good ear, that's a good ear. On the X-Men 97 sucks. Who is this 80s hair metal dude? This is awesome. Dude, the son of man, bitch! Oh, yeah. And remember, we're... Live. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Travis Day. Um, I went to the, the analytics because YouTube provides analytics and shit. And I went to them. <laughs> the majority of motherfuckers that watch us are fucking between the ages of 35, 35 and up. <laughs> With the exception of the cunt and probably a, a few other motherfuckers. But most, most motherfuckers are old here. <laughs> That's badass, you know. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we're just a bunch of old farts here just complaining. A bunch of fucking uh, George Carlins. <laughs> the cunt, you're an old soul. That's why you're here, cunt. You're just like us. Oh, yeah. yeah I love George Carlin. I miss George Carlin. Oh, man, his comedy was great. Him and Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks was the comic that never made it. And he was really good and smart as fuck. He could have changed the world with his comedy. I'll just put it like that. Uh, may you rest in peace. Oh, both of them. George Carlin, too. Uh, oh, Rocco, fuck my life on the X-Men sucks. Let me hit it for Rocco. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco! Um, Rocco says... X-Men X -Men 97 blew ass. Son cut all, caught the entire show. And you tore this arse a new one, bros. They should have never touched it. Rumor is they want to revamp Spider-Man 94 too. Shit monkey balls. Disney will never learn. Cheers to the man. Hashtag. Live. Um... I heard that too. That because they're getting great reviews and they're getting a lot of views on this. Um, I, I, I don't subscribe. So, you know, I, I get everything off my VPN. Uh, Jack Sparrow Bay. Um, but because it's being popular, obviously, uh, they are debating on, on thinking about putting Spider-Man 94, bringing it back, or having a crossover. You know? Between two shows, but I got a feeling that. Well, I don't know, cause I, I mean, at first I thought that this might tie in to Deadpool three at the end, cause it's all gonna be about multiverses and shit. And I thought maybe the Wolverine here is actually the one we're seeing in Deadpool. <laughs> you know, I thought that maybe that's how they when they come into the live action universe, he changes and he looks like fucking Hugh Jackman, and that's why he has the yellow suit and shit. Uh, but I don't know what they're doing, man. Uh, we'll talk more about X-Men 97 tonight when we review it. I'm going to get too much into it. Cheers, Rocco. Thank you for commenting, you fucking Satanist. Oh, my God. This fucking women molester. No, ma'am. Let me hit it for this fucking guy. I don't know if I should, though. God damn it. No, ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. My God, this guy's bad. Anyways, on the X Men '97 video, he says, "X Men blew so hard, lol. I couldn't stop laughing at how ridiculous and downgraded it was. It was downgraded. I still still think it's downgraded just because of the animation style. Uh, I don't understand why you can't work as hard as people did back then and actually draw frame by frame. But it's whatever. Take your shortcuts. It's the way people are nowadays." Uh, these Ben, he said, continues, and he says, these Ben 10 kids who are praising it are lame as fuck. Hashtag. Live. <laughs> ben 10. Hey, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. Uh, there's a friend of mine who had a son. Uh, and whenever I went over there uh, to hang out and shit, I'd end up hanging out with her son more than her. You know, I, I introduced him to Dragon Ball. I introduced him to Star Wars and, and shit. Um, but 
he introduced me to Ben 10 and Ben 10 was kind of cool, man. Especially because I feel like that cartoon, didn't he grow up in the cartoon? Like you saw him change and even the cartoon got more mature as he grew up. Uh, but it was kind of weird because there's aliens and, and shit like that. Like for little kids to be watching <laughs> uh, alien invasions and shit like that. It's cool. It's kind of like back in the day when they had Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare was way too smart for kids. Uh, and that's why it failed. But Bucky O'Hare was fucking badass, man. Bucky O'Hare was like fucking Guardians of the Galaxy or some shit like that. It was it was fucking badass. I remember that. And it was really smart because the Toad world, they were ruled by this supercomputer that was like this brain that was like a Toad brain or lizard brain. And it would have everyone... Uh, uh, fucking brainwashing the planet all the other frogs from watching television and eating and buying products and I'm like dude that's like nah and this was back in the 80s and I'm like that's like what it is right now bro um it was fucking nuts and uh and it sucks that smart series smart series like that they don't they don't make it because they're so ahead of their time um but yeah I uh I think Ben Kent, Ben Ten was 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 okay, you know. I like the Fairly Odd Parents was funny as fuck. Some of those jokes, like I don't even know, like why would they? Like kids wouldn't grasp a joke like this. Like this is made for adults. Sometimes I, I think like that, but yeah. Anyways, uh, moving on. Anthony Timmons on the Sun is Done with Richard Simmons video, short video. He says, uh. That dude was always supposed to be some kind of fitness expert. Ex expert. But to me, he always looked like a lump of cottage cheese. Not Never got it. I felt the same way. Although my analogy was not cottage cheese. I just thought he looked like one of my aunts or something. Or some uh, one of my grandma's friends or something. I don't know. I was just like, I was wondering why it was he did fitness videos when he didn't look in shape at all you know i mean we had suzanne summers for god's sakes making these types of videos and she was hot as fuck you know i believe her dancing around getting in shape i don't know about this asshole i'll just put it like that so i kind of agree and actually had the same fucking um frame of mind as you did anthony timmons when i was younger regarding richard simmons but you know whatever um, cheers, Timmons. Oh, on the Pony versus Here video, it's J Hart W. Oh, he j he just quotes me. So let me just say it the way I said it. I'm not cheering. I'm drinking to forget this ass. <laughs> cheers, J. I didn't realize how many fucking comments there are, motherfuckers. Uh, we've already, I think we've been here th more than 30 minutes. God damn it. <laughs> I'm kind of happy that nobody watches this show because if we had over a million subscribers, I would never finish with the comments. There And there'd be a lot of haters talking shit about, you know, Melanie Mack going on here, calling me a faggot. There'd be a bunch of motherfuckers talking shit, you know. So I'm kind of glad nobody watches this. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with the the, the 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 little comments I get. Uh, let's see. Let me open this. Uh, it's somebody called me ear, me ear mate, mate are, I don't know mater. It could be a lot of stuff. I don't know, but he looks like. I don't know, I can't even see his avatar. It looks like he could be a, some fucking long-haired fucking anime shit. I don't know what this is. Anyways, on the X-Men shit, let me just read what he said, because I don't know how to describe this asshole. Bishop doesn't need to have a disposition or talk when he first episode was literally a disposition cream pie of information to connect with the original story, but his story is very well fleshed out in the original series, and since this is a direct sequel, it's valid. No, it's not, because even this statement where you gave your explanation still doesn't answer the actual question I asked. Why is Bishop there? Why? Now, they did 
I don't, again, because then uh, I'm going to come back to this when I review this episode, because something happened in this episode that I'm just like, ah, that's, there's the reason and shit, but they still don't give us a clear reason how he even ended up there, why he's even part of the team, why he came back, what happened, because the last time I remember, Rogue sent him back to the future and he stayed there. But uh, we'll get into it later. No, you're still wrong. And I'll tell you why you're wrong later on tonight. Cheers. Whatever your name is, because it could be like three different ways to say it. Cheers. Oh, I'm out. Let me grab another bear. I'm still going to cheers to you, motherfucker. Matt Ear or some shit. Cheers to you. Ah, I love it when it's cold like that. It's like drinking. It's like drinking water fresh from the Arctic. Water that fucks you up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Leon Woodley on the X-Men 97 sucks says Oh please. Oh please what motherfucker? You be more specific. What do you want? Uh he did comment again and he says uh Two excellent episodes. I'm glad it's going well. Well, that's your opinion, and I guess it's valid uh, in your world. And he commented again, I think. Yeah. But the same comment. Two excellent episodes. Let me make sure that's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, they weren't. The first two episodes sucked. I'll put it like that. I would have done a lot better, you know. But anyways, we're going to continue Woodley. Woodley and I bet you that is his real name that sucks having a name like that bro It sucks when your last name sucks Like if your last name is Cummings, I mean come on. How are you not gonna be made fun of growing up as a kid? God damn it, especially if you're a female you're fucked uh, but When your parents purposely name you the first name to be something fucked That's just bullshit, man. That's when you know your parents are assholes there's a lot of kids I knew growing up that I was just like, damn, dude, your fucking parents suck ass. There's one kid, man. Uh, his his name was Guadalupe. That's like the Virgin Mary, the Virgin Guadalupe. It's over there in the Mexican shit. That's usually a fucking a girl's name. They named him that, the first name. That's the worst thing you can do to a male with a penis that, that produces sperm and is not gay. Holy shit, bro. That kid went, went on to become a hitman for the cartels. And right now he's in jail here in, in the United States. I blame his mother for naming him that. So yeah. Think very hard. It sucks when you have a last name like Woodley. There's nothing you can do about it, Woodley. <laughs> but your first name, you know. Your parents better don't be an asshole to your kids. You name them something cool. You know, something manly. You dicks. Anyways. Peter Griffin commented. The Peter Griffin. He commented on Godzilla Minus One. The director sets up, got set up at the Oscars. Just at least let the man finish reading his speech before the music send off. God damn it. I'm with you, man. They but they do that to everybody when they start taking too damn long. It was just getting embarrassing because this motherfucker cannot speak English. So they said, oh, play the music already. Get him off the stage. He's embarrassing himself and shit. People are trying hard not to laugh. I'm just mad that someone let him go up there in the first place without a fucking learning or having a translator. That's some bullshit. Somebody sends me to a German shit and I win a ward. I'm going to have a German bitch. You say everything I say, you whore. But say it in English or in whatever language they're speaking. So they understand, but I'm not going to go in there and try to embarrass myself, try to speak another language I don't know. God damn it. You know, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Mexican Joker from South Park. <laughs> I am the Mexican Joker from South Park. Ah! <laughs> Cheers, Peter Griffin. Thank you for commenting, you fucking guy. Uh, Let's see who else is here. Oh shit, on the X-Men 97. Uh, Demar, I think. Dima, because I think I went on there. But he says, uh, I was wondering the same thing. Nobody seems to care 
when I Googled it, they should have put a large case of cash on Larry Houston, the original director's desk, and let him run the show until he could find a proper replacement. The voice acting from Wolverine and World was not good. I, I agree. And if they just recorded some lines from home with no proper direction. I also didn't like the way they drew Magneto. What's up with the cut-off sleeves? Like, oh, I've been working out. I gotta, And I'm fucking 80 years old, so let me show off that I'm badass and shit. I don't, I, yeah. You know, smart people understand why we're upset. Smart people that actually love the show understand why we're, there's a bunch of idiots that are brainwashed and, oh, yeah, 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 you fucking dumbasses, you fucking lick ass is what you fucking do. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, I'm gonna talk more about this tonight. Just wait till we get to that part. Uh, by the way, the Godzilla uh, Kong uh, spoilers with, and I'm sure, uh, hopefully I don't get banned, but I'm showing you all the kaiju battles uh, tonight. And uh, that's at the very end, after the Marvel ass. Uh, thank you, uh, Dima R, for commenting. Cheers. I agree with everything you said, bro. You're a smart man. You're a smart man. Or a woman. Or a non-binary. Whatever you identify, you're smart as fuck. Anyways, DJ New Kid on The Sun is Done with Richard Simmons video. He just puts a bunch of faces laughing. Cheers, DJ New Kid. <laughs> the DJ horn was for you, motherfucker. Uh, Brenda Griffith on the X Men 97 actually sucks. When the teacher calls on me unexpectedly. Um,. I'm going to click on it and see see what this is because I really don't know. I'll play for a few seconds and then we'll see. So let's just, just imagine the teacher called on her unexpectedly. Back his ass back. We, you did what you did. Get out of here before you don't want to kill Gambit. You dick. And she sent him back. And that's all we, we fucking knew. Why is he back? Is he here to save another time parallel? Is something bad happening in the future? Why is he still in the past? They don't explain nothing. He's just there. And even worse, he's just in the background as a side character. Doesn't contribute or do anything unless fighting is happening. Oh, fighting is happening. Here comes the black guy with his gun. All right, he comes to black guy with his guns. Oh my god, <laughs> Brenda Griffith, cheers! <laughs> I hope that's what you wanted us to play. Cheers! Oh, I'm gonna get drunk tonight, you motherfuckers. I still gotta work tomorrow. Oh yeah, Trevor Bertrand says X Men '97 was lit. Yeah. It was lit like a like a brown fucking paper bag full of dog shit that you'd light in front of your neighbor's front door and then ring the doorbell and run away. That's how lit it was. <laughs> you know what? It wasn't even dog shit. It was actual human feces in a bag. In a brown fucking paper bag lit on fire. <laughs> That's what the X-Men 97 was. Cheers, Trevor! <laughs> Indie Phantom, ah, oh, this Canuck on the X Men ninety seven sucks. He says, "What's up with Diddy?" We're gonna talk about that tonight. They're coming for my boy. Well, I don't know, but those mansions were like some Tony Montana Scarface shit. The videos I know are mostly from his Puff Daddy faces, and they were pretty mild for most of the part. Uh, one of the hottest things ever was J Lo in Been Around the World. Damn, son, she was fine. Cheers. Cheers, Indie Phantom. Hey, you know what's sad about J-Lo is that her album and her movie released with the album flopped. And it's not selling. And not only that, but she had a tour, you know, and they were not selling out. 
And so now she's canceling the tour because she doesn't want to perform to fucking empty seats, empty arenas. And I'm just like, that's kind of strange that, I mean, look, I'm not a J-Lo fan. I don't like her at all. But I thought at least with her name alone is enough to sell out an arena, to be honest with you. It's kind of strange to me that she's not selling out an arena. As popular as she should be. I mean, she's pretty hot. I mean, that's all she's got going for her. And for at least that, you can go watch her. But I guess people are starting to see past the fucking... The veil. You know? If you want to be an industry plant, you actually have to have talent like Billy Idol or Taylor Swift in order for people to like you, you know? You can't just be a plant nowadays and be, like, untalented and beautiful. That ain't gonna fly. There's OnlyFans for that kind of shit. You're gonna be beautiful and untalented. You go to OnlyFans, motherfucker. You get a lot of money. That's all I'm gonna say. A lot of motherfucking money. Uh, but you don't fuck around trying to be a singer and shit. If you ain't got the whole package nowadays, because people people know. Anyways, cherries in the phantom. Mike Thompson on the Godzilla minus one. Got the director got set up at the Oscars because they embarrassed him. He said that's some rude shit. It is. It is. It was rude for them to do this to this man. His legacy. He was put to shame in another country. Embarrassed. Fuck you. That would have never happened to me. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, cheers, Mike. You sons of bitches. I'm drinking a lot now. This is actually, I think this is my fourth beer because there's another can somewhere back there. Uh, Anthony Timmons on the Chow May becomes da Bob Dylan short video. Dude could write okay, but he couldn't carry a tune in a gallon bucket to save his life. He couldn't carry. He cannot do nothing. Fuck that guy. All right. I don't. I don't understand the the awe or, or the aura or all this. Uh, some kind of attraction to to anything that is Bob Dylan. Even his name is lame. He can't sing. His music sucks ass. He's a fucking, he's just one of these guys who sold his soul to the devil. Just like Ozzy Osbourne, who sounds like ass. He does. He sounds like he's whining. A high-pitched whine. That wasn't even metal. It wasn't even good. Like fucking Dave Mustaine or, you know, it wasn't even like Iron Maiden. It wasn't even good singing. It was whiny, fucking shitty, druggy singing. And then we have Mick Jagger, who sounds like ass. And looks like ass, too. And somehow, these guys are like some of the richest people in the world and will live on forever, even after they're dead. They sold their souls. Untalented motherfuckers like that sold their souls. Cheers. Timmons. Yeah, Springsteen. Yeah, the boss. Fuck you! How is that even cool? How is calling yourself the boss cool, man? Leave that for a woman to be saying. A woman saying I'm the boss is fucking pimp. For a guy to say it sounds lame as shit. Fuck you! Wearing your fucking cut off sleeves and shit. You're like, you look like somebody's 40 year old dad up there and shit. And that was back then when you were fucking famous. <laughs> you dumbass. Fuck that guy, dude. They have to sell their souls, dude. They got no talent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, they got no talent, you know. But oh well. Tom Petty. <laughs> you like Tom Petty. I I'm, I mean, I have no problem with Tom Petty, but I'm just like, it's... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of it, you know. I do appreciate good singers, bro. Like I'm saying, that guy from fucking... I think it's Toto, right? The one that... Hold the line. Love isn't always on time. That guy's fucking amazing. And he looks like some lame... He looks like fucking Bob Dylan. <laughs> he looks lame as fuck. But this guy has an amazing fucking voice. That's talent right there. You can't fucking take that away from nobody. That's why Freddie Mercury with those big buck teeth. But he got talent. Alright, there's a difference. This dumbass don't got no talent. Fuck you, Bob Dylan. 
We're moving on. <laughs> we got more comments to read. Oh, shit, you all. Oh, it's none other than the trumpets will sound. Let me hit it for this orange-haired racist rapist. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs. I want to build the wall. We need the wall. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. Cheers, trumpets. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know how we do in this channel, and I have... Uh, I have the help of AI to read this comment for us, since I don't have... Uh, he who should not be named to do the voice. AI does it way better than that piece of shit ever would. So here we go. The trumpets. Let us know what you thought about the podcast. What's up, muchacho? Sorry I've been absent. I took a big L for America this week. Very unfortunate. By the way, does anybody have $355 million I could borrow? Anyone? Gomer Kyle? I'm looking at you, bud. Anyhow, boy, oh boy, X-Men 97 blow ours so hard, didn't it? Wolverine has been uh, reduced to morphs. Sex toy now. What a damn shame. Cheers to the son of man. And as always, hashtag woke pack for life. Hashtag. Live. It's so trippy hearing him say that. I will say, um, sometimes I feel it's really fast, but then when you hear him speak, he kind of is kind of like almost tripping, like if he's tripping on himself. It's just weird. I don't know how how they do this. I don't know how they do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gomer, uh, do you have $355 million he could borrow? <laughs> They're making him pay all this. Like, he only has, like, I think he's only has, like, $500 million or some shit like that. And they're trying to take all his money so he doesn't have enough to run for president. <laughs> Fucking dicks. <laughs> Just like anything. It's, it's crazy because, like... You're literally seeing corruption in front of your eyes and everyone's just like, whatever. I mean, but that's the way it's always been. And we saw it in the Bush administration. We saw it in the Obama administration. We saw it in all the administrations. Uh, the only administration that was ever good to us was Ronald Reagan's. Let's not lie. Anyways, uh, cheers, the trumpets. All right, let's move on. Anthony Timmons. On the heat sequels in the works. They're currently bankrupt. The well is running dry and they have nothing new to offer us. They wonder why we don't go to the movies anymore. We can get higher quality entertainment on YouTube. You're not lying about when you when you fucking say that. Uh a lot of amateurs fucking are amazing nowadays on YouTube. I saw this fan made uh movie short movie like about Darth Vader and the Emperor and the Emperor tricks him that Padme is still alive and all this ass it's fucking nuts bro and it was really really good quality even the actors the makeup even looked really close to them and the actors the voices were almost fucking identical and I was just like Lucas Disney is fucking up that's all I said when I saw that yeah 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 uh, cheers, Timmons. Damn, oh, man, there's a lot of comments. I can tell you right now because I already need to go pee, but we're not done, so I'm going to keep going. I can hold it in, motherfuckers. I can hold it in for three hours if I have to. I'm not going to, but I can. All right, anyways, I'm not going to explain to you when I actually had to hold it for three hours, but I did one time, and it sucked ass. Uh, cheers, uh, Timmons, and uh, next one is Lewis Jones. Also on the heat. Not gonna happen, they're too damn old. And he has also puts another comment. Al looks like he's getting ready to buy a farm any minute now. Al Pacino looks like fucking he's gonna die next week. You know, especially now that he has a newborn Pakistani kid that, that he had with that 29 year old he came inside of. And shit, now he gotta pay her like uh, fucking uh, 75 grand a month and shit for the rest of her life. Life! Oh, well. Cheers, Lewis. Anthony Timmons, also in the Puniverse, says, Sorry, I just can't picture Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the fucking Pooh, a serial killer. 
It's fucked up. I haven't seen the second one. I'm waiting till it comes out on digital for me to see it. But the first one sucks ass. I fell asleep. They're saying this one's better. So I don't know. They're saying some shit about there's an evil guy who kidnapped a bunch of children. And kind of like the way they did the fucking centipede or whatever that war is, whatever that movie. This guy turned them into these things. These kids. And one of the kids, one of the kids, the Winnie the Pooh is actually uh, Christopher Robin's little brother that got kidnapped a long time ago. And that's why he goes to go look for kid Christopher Robin. And that's Winnie the Pooh. So yeah, that's what part two finally shows you what's really going on. Chris Mieno or Mino. Some shit. And the son is done with Richard Simmons. What did I wander into? You wander into YouTube's wokest channel, the Underground Broadcast. Live. Ah, oh, yeah. Cheers. Mino. Super Saiyan Joe Koo on the X-Men sucks. Says, I'm pretty sure everything will go downhill in a few episodes like everything Disney does nowadays. Mother flowers. I feel the same way. We'll talk about this more when I review the next episode. He says on the Bianca Sensori exposes her mom. Joe Koo also says, I love seeing Bianca dressing like this gorgeous. This is what I am talking about, Bianca. Cheers, Mother flowers. It's bathroom time. <laughs> Live. Motherfucker, quit saying bathroom because I need to piss right now. <laughs> I'm rushing through the comments and shit. Joku also says, and yes, my mom can get the mom can get it too. Classy, sexy, and wants it. Cheers! I'm totally down with that one. <laughs> the third episode is the downfall. Ah. Oh. Okay, we'll get to that later. Cut. Uh, let me make sure this motherfuckers of the last two comments. Uh, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, last two comments are from none other than Houston, Texas. Oh, one and only Jose Trevino. Here we go. Repite su nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano, mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tienes envidia, puto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treviño says. What up, gay? Oh, sorry about that. He said, what up, gay? I mean, damn Nicole Watcher. What? Hey, don't be getting racist on this channel, you son of a bitch. I don't know what that means. Nick Ho Watcher. I don't know what that means. Anyways, great show as usual. It's kind of strange how the media is like two to three years behind the so-called conspiracy theories. Yeah, 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 yes, you're right. <laughs> I remember the whole Nickelodeon thing before talked about in 2020. I remember seeing this documentary from a YouTuber named Mounty Buddha exposing these disgusting animals when his channel got naked, but his channel got nuked. I remember I was scared and horrified. There was, there used to be a lot of channels that talked a lot of conspiracies and they all got fucking deleted when Google bought YouTube because then they started silencing the truth. Yeah, that's why on, on Facebook, you couldn't say jack shit about Biden, but if you post something about tr no, you couldn't say jack shit about Biden, but you it was okay to talk shit about Trump. But if you talk shit about Biden, you'll get banned for like a week or two or some ass like that. It was fucking fucked. I was like, fuck that. Uh, he says, I didn't share it because anyone felt I would, I would get them targeted. Now all the evils are being brought out to light. Anyways, I got to go wash my tin foil hat. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. Uh, is it this one? This one? It's this one. Hashtag. World order. Oh yeah. Let's hit it again because he puts hashtag w uh, w w o. 
Whoa, whoa, world order. Ah, oh, yeah. Cheers, Trevino. And the last comment he put on X Men ninety seven is great review, son. I was wondering why Bishop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, all these fucking smart people know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, it's like there was there was two episodes, and you didn't give an explanation why he was there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I was like, come on now, what's going on? Are they going to say anything? And they, they never said anything. He never said anything. Unless we was fighting, that's the only time he talked. Let's get him. Oh, yeah. What's up, fellas? Take that. They, <laughs> he never talked through the, through the, any of the... He was just standing in the background. <laughs> that was fucking lame. Uh... <laughs> I was wondering why Bishop was in the mix and he was being all jolly. I don't remember Rogue and Magneto getting frisky. Uh, that's uh, that's because they're assuming we read the comic books and they're just saying, oh, it happened because it happened in the comic books. Fucking dicks. That is true. They, they shouldn't have done that. Also, I don't know if I ever tried to make uh, a January 6th reference with Magneto's trial. Oh! <laughs> And the stupidest thing was when Gambit hopped on Wolverine like a battle cat. Maybe that's symbolism of what they're doing that in bed. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. If they make Wolverine gay with Morph. We're talking about this later on tonight. But oh my god. Um, cheers, Jose Trevino. I am with you all the way with everything you said. Um, there's, uh, I don't know. I like to believe there's some of us that feel this way. Because there's a bunch of dumbasses that are just like, This is awesome! Fucking idiots! Anyways. But all I'm going to say is, um, Cheers, Jose Trevino, and thank you for commenting, motherfucker. My social medias and Twitter. It's not X. Not until it says www.x.com. It's Twitter. Elon Musk. Uh... It's at Sonoman665. It's fucking Instagram. It's at the underscore underground underscore broadcast. Because somebody else already had fucking some shit. And then uh, at TikTok, it's at, at the underground broadcast. Anything you send me, I'll post it here in the comments before we start. Cheers to y'all. Thank you very much for fucking uh, being badasses and for commenting. You commented a lot this week. We I think I read comments for a fucking hour. You assholes. I'm pretty much drunk already. Cheers. Thank you for that. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.